<laughs> Ram gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say uh what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, crack up, turn up for Aries. What you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries? What's popping, gang, gang? <laughs> Are you in this space of just being allowing, surrendering, understanding we don't run shit? The universe does. However, if we focus on only only on what it is that we want, not what we've been, and the things that we have overcome, because when you've not already been there, wrote the damn book, you don't got to keep telling your damn story. Tell them, look at your resume. You understand? You guys, it's about being accepting, and this is the season of the re. So, being receptive to the acceptance, okay, factor of ourselves. You guys, this is not a personal. It's a general. Hey, boo, hey. First time on my channel, I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out. I cuss. Make us a little. Make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell the cards going to say. But I'm cussing. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. They can further assist you without cussing. Um, to the new subscribers, to the family, y'all. Well, it is functional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We cry sometimes. We share. We love. We enlighten. We want to be happy family over here. Um, you guys, to the return of subscribers, family here. Gang, gang, what's popping? I apologize, you guys, for being late, but if you the same type of Aries that I am, damn it, shit been going on. So look here. I made it. Say thank you. This shit free. Moving on. Let's get it. This is not going to resonate with everybody, you all. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. Um, you guys just take what resonates, leave the rest. If that motherfucker shoe too big, you keep trying to put it on, yeah, it's gonna fall. So just leave the shit that don't go with you here. Okay, go with somebody. It wasn't for you, but I don't love you any less, you guys. Um, if you would like a personal reading, hit me up. The information is in the description, and we're gonna rock out. All right. Overall energy around the reading, you guys. We got the six of clubs. That's it. I know Aries is on date. If you ain't gonna offer me no rest, no reciprocity, keep it over there. It's not for me. Can't get right. Your ass to get left real quick. All right. But this time with explanation, understanding. That's only after I've compromised. All right. We learning something. We learning something, Aries. Let's get into it. Want to start with your intuitive messages for the month. All right. Sorry, y'all. Shout out to my Virgo boo. She 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 just came through doing her this now, okay? Aries intuitively for the month, for the end of well, from now to the end of June. You guys got we got happiness, abundance, finalization, things hidden, diet change, ancestors, spiritual gifts, premonition, soul contracts, karmic wrap ups. Silent moves, career change, sudden wealth, look it over carefully, forgiveness, perspective, new car, come on Aries, take a chance, poker faced, business opportunity, travel, relocation, rapid manifestations, victim mentality, harvest, past life, centered, it's your time. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. So, you guys, if the intuitive messages did resonate with you, this is your message. All right. Let's talk about it again. Overall energy with the six of clubs. Your angel message for the month, Aries, for the rest of the month. You got Archangel Raziel. Take your power back. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Thought, word, action, Aries. You think it, you speak it, you believe it, voila, because that belief is going to actually motivate the movement. You understand? So just know a lot of you all, 
need to know. Some of y'all may also see some type of rainbow during this time. That is your confirmation of, upon the fruition of what it is that you've been trying to harvest as well as praying for. Some of you all may be seeing synchronistic signs through winged animals, birds, cardinals, blue jays, um, butterflies. For some of you all, you are heavily protected by Archangel Michael during this time. Uh, there is something about your temper, Aries. Watch your temper. And there's a need for you all to express how you feel through the throat chakra, but without being so aggressive, okay? Like, before you speak, take that deep breath. And in the midst of that breath, roll, them, roll that beautiful bean footage in that damn head, you know. And, and, and try to step outside of yourself emotionally to, you know, respond. Because I definitely, I'm hearing conversations. So during this time, you guys are going to be having a lot of conversations with people. And I'm also hearing rectification. So there may be apologies. There may be um, compromises to situations where you were, you felt as if there once weren't before. The next card you guys got was clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can see, so that you can clearly see heavenly love, okay? So some of you all, again, this is about receptivity and it's also about alignment. For some of you all, you have an ancestor assisting you uh, with the alignment of some type of past life love or some type of soulmate partnership, okay? There's a need for you all not to do anything. Just sit back, be cute, put, put your feet up and properly strategize, okay? All right, so this is what I feel ultimately for my Aries during this time. Uh, some of you all also... Some of y'all may take an interest in crystals, okay, during this time. Amethyst, adventuring, rose quartz, as well, clear quartz. Some of you all, there's a focus on your sacral chakra. You need to get moving. Some of you all may have an overactive sacral chakra. So for some, those of my Aries who are all over the damn place, there's a need for you all to become centered in self and for you all to kind of kick back, take some time to actually rest and rejuvenate the reeds, incorporate the reeds in your way of life so that we can, so that you can offer that reciprocity to your damn self because some of you all are overworked, um, overextending to others a bit much and you burnt out the spirit is saying um take your power back during this time it's okay to say no don't you have to say no with aggression and you don't always gotta pop off to get your damn point across people do what you allow them to do so with that said you have to accept the fact that you cannot change other people but you can adjust your damn behavior to show motherfuckers that you mean what you say okay so let's get it say only what you mean and mean what you say very important. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aries from now to the end of June in love? Yeah, some of you all have an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Okay, this person wants to come back and work work out, work something out with you. Some of y'all could also be uh, starting something new, possibly with an earth sign. This could also be somebody who you all work with, okay? Some of you all, this is going to catch you off guard. This is going to be something that is very fast moving. Or this person may want to come in and um, offer you something or offer you some type, of, some type of offer to work things out or to compromise, okay? Some of you all may also be seeing 333 three, three during this time a whole lot. And it definitely signifies some type of expansion. Others of you could also be having a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, that wants to come in and work things out with you. Y'all be careful of hidden illusions, okay, because I definitely feel like with this, somebody is talking a good game, but with the fact that I see the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, I definitely feel like somebody could also, y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, you could have just a sexual relationship with this person during this time, but under this full moon, and within this nep within this retrograde in Neptune, a lot of y'all are going to be coming to the reality that somebody got some type of addiction issue, this could be addiction to sex, this could be addiction to damn drugs, this could be addiction to uh, liquor, Hey, somebody likes to uh, drink, drink. They don't drink little. They drink, drink. All right. Some of you all could have moved away from a Leo. Okay. This could have been someone who was new in your life. You stepped away from this person and stepping away from this person. Some of y'all could have given somebody a reality check. This person in the midst of them being alone or being by themselves, they kind of shed a light or had some type of reflection over them, over their past or their past behaviors. And this person is wanting to come in and like hit the reset button with you all, okay? But some of you all, this could also be a Virgo. Some of you all, somebody who you have children with, I definitely feel like this person wants to come in and offer compromise, but they want to control the situation, Aries. There's a need for some of y'all to release people and places and things that just want to come in and control. There's a love, true love is not about control. It's about acceptance, understanding, compromise, and healthy communication. Because with... Setting the foundation of 
friendship with someone or setting the foundation of you being best friends with someone. Because I feel like this is my personal opinion. I definitely feel like titles change things and it change people and it change dynamics. I just feel as if when you get to the when you start when you start the foundation off with being someone's best friend, you get to know the good, the bad, the ugly to make a solid and actually um a a a, a fair and just decision. Because you're getting to know you you, you gotta all of the cards have been laid out on the table. Okay, for some of you all, yeah. Some of you all could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Things could be moving forward during this time, possibly with the Leo, where there was possibly fights and arguments and shit happened in the past. Aries, women, you are in your power, baby, okay? Some of you guys, your true love, you're attracting love. You're attracting your life partner, your soulmate during this time because you're in your power. Some of you guys... um, Someone who could have been in a relationship and been married, okay, or had some type of dynamic. This could be either a past life soulmate to some of y'all. This person could also be a karmic partner. Some of y'all have some type of commitment coming in with the sign of Gemini. Some of you all, some of y'all actually moving away and working on yourself, moving away from somebody who's in and out of your damn life is actually going to bring you karmic justice and that's going to cause somebody else some type of internal conflict, but it is going to make them come in talking where possibly they weren't in the past, okay? I'm definitely feeling a sense of guilt. Someone feels guilty. Someone also who's definitely a soulmate. Someone feels as if they missed an opportunity with you, Aries. Let's clarify because you have a lot of major icon on the board. Why is the justice card here? Some of y'all, this could also be a Libra wanting to come in and bring some type of resolution to an issue, okay? This could be you or a Libra, you or the Libra. For some of y'all, for some of you all, you have um, someone wanting to renew love. Someone has had some type of recognition of who you are in their life, okay? And some of y'all are reuniting with the soulmates and with someone from your past. Well, you have a very passionate connection with this person. Aries, so at the end of the month, usually y'all don't see this just like that, but sometimes I do. But I don't usually say it. Some of y'all going to be having some really good sex, especially if you're connecting with fire energy. I see a whole lot of passion moving forward. But for some of you, others of you, this has to do with you releasing a situation where there is only, where the foundation has only been built off of passion. Like, you guys, what are we building? What are we doing? How does shit make this shit make sense? Okay. Others of you, you're working on a marriage. Some of y'all could have been arguing. For those of you who are committed, you could have been arguing with your partner about, uh, especially if you, I'm hearing engaged. Some of y'all could feel feeling that you've been engaged forever. you like, listen, we going to do this shit or what? Because you can have this ring back, baby. I can marry my damn self and I can guarantee you with that damn energy that I'm exuding, I'm going to attract <laughs> what this for me. <laughs> Some of y'all have a twin flame that's a fire sign. Every day of Sagittarius. There could have been a connection where you and this person was very, y'all had a childish type dynamic in the past, but someone and definitely, somebody then definitely went in introspection mode, okay? Some of you guys have, some of y'all could be moving on from the sign of Virgo. This person is a soulmate to you, okay? But you're uh, kind of now realizing that you have to release this, okay? For others of you, this person wants to come in and express their love. They have some type of, um, some type of reality check that you are a soulmate. This person has also been dreaming. Your dream space may also be very expansive during this time, Aries. I'm also hearing that you need to live in the now because the energy is kind of coming off a bit Piscean where we're dreaming, we're dreaming, and we're we dreaming, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, but there's a need to go get it and come back with it. You did. Some of you all, there's a cycle possibly ending around an um. An Aries, I mean, it's an Aries, because it could be ending around the end of the Aries. But there could be a cycle ending around um, a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. This person could, yeah, I'm also seeing this person could be having anxiety. They don't want to feel, they feel as if they missed out on something, Aries. It's like someone feels as if they manifested something and they manifested perfection, but because of their own addictions and codependencies and their own feelings of feeling as if they're stuck or they're trapped, they can't move things forward. And Aries is like, listen, I ain't got time for it. I got new, new. So I'm going to be courageous for the two of us to push through this thing. And in doing so, I'm going to attract new, new. She could possibly come in the form of a Leo. This person is internally conflicted, whoever this person is, who I'm picking up. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all going to be finding out this person having a baby, okay? But some of you, you already intuitively knew this, okay? But you, I feel as if maybe you've just been waiting on it to come to the forefront. Some of you all have possibly been dreaming of children, especially if you're married. Some of y'all going to find out if you in a committed relationship with your partner. And I'm hearing catalyst. The situation is a catalyst only. The divine intervention 
to get you to where you're supposed to be within your path, Aries. Acceptance. Three. Why is the justice card here? Yeah, for some of you all, there's justice possibly around an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Uh, justice around a situation of reuniting. Where, why are the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Yeah, for some of you all, the state, someone is coming back to bring you a stable offer, okay? Others of you could also be starting a new job. If you just could have recently moved away from your job or you have fear that you're going to be uh, moving away from your job soon and they're going to let you go, I do see someone being released from something or released from a job. Some of y'all could also be dealing with someone who's being released from jail. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the sun card here? Some of you guys have a Capricorn towards Virgo that's a soulmate, a life partner, or a, a twin flame. Yeah, this person wants to come in and they want to heal. They want to heal the reunion. They want to heal the reunion. They want to heal the relationship. But some of y'all, this could definitely be a reunion. Others of you, this is a new uh, a new Gemini Libra Aquarius who you could be talking to after leaving away after moving away from a childish water sign, a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Fire. Gemini. Why is the lovers here? I said the lovers. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Clarify strength, please. The Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Some of you guys could have, some of y'all could actually be having some type of argument, or there could be some type of flare for argument around a child with the Leo, okay? Or surrounding a Leo. This could also be you separating yourself from this Leo. Or use trusting your intuition and just allow let somebody know, listen, I've been in this cycle with a person who just want to come with this fucking energy. So what I will not do is allow it because people do what you allow them to do. If I allow you to do that in my energy, this is the life that I'm going to sign up for. So if I check this shit at the door and let your ass know I'm the motherfucking high priestess, don't come for me. Don't come for me. You know, shy CG. So I'm going to check it real quick. Let them check the shit at the door. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Yeah. Some of y'all be careful. You may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. You also may be dealing with a water sign. This person, you know, what is to hold on to you? Because this person could also be very intuitive. This person knows that the ending is coming or that you're getting ready to have a new beginning of some sort. You're moving away from them. So I feel like if you're going to have sex with this person and you still have a sex with this person, wrap it up. Because this person, I'm feeling the energy of a bit obsession. Like somebody want to get you in them sheets to get your ass for 18 years. You understand? So be careful. Others of you, this is a catalyst situation. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant, possibly by a third party. Some of y'all, I'm going to be honest, some of y'all is fucking somebody else shit up between now and the end of June. Let's just go and let's just do it. Okay, it's a party. Fuck it. This tea must be spilled. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Yeah. For some of you all, okay. By you actually going into hermit mode, going taking this period of solitude back in the back back in away, and taking this period of reflection, taking this period of uh, re-examining things and relationships and the, the things that you allow, the things that uh, that you've gone through, it brings you a sense of balance because you know how not to move going forward. Okay, there is some type of epiphany, some type of revelation. Terrified a world card. She's jumping up out of here. Okay, so we're going into a new cycle. Especially in matters of the heart, okay? For some of us, matters of finances, okay? Some of you Aries, there is definitely change. Change is coming around a dynamic where someone was given to three people. Now they're only ready to give to you. Or someone was given to two people. There's a third party getting cut out, Aries. Some of y'all got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? This person could be spying on you, keeping the tab out on you. This person could also be, and this person could be spying on you to see if things are changing in your world. Maybe things could have changed in theirs with six people here having the page of swords and the five of swords. Also, how I see this, when somebody was communicating um, or not communicating effectively, this person is wanting to communicate. They're wanting to offer their reciprocity in order to move things forward towards this new beginning, okay? Others of you, somebody could have cut off, cut off a damn air sign or earth sign due to this person being codependent when it came to money matters. You know, we don't play about our money. You going to, what? You going to, me, what? Huh? Huh? 
I, huh? But you, you huh? <laughs> I know, speak of that. Okay, so some of you all are definitely needing to make a decision. You're going to be making a decision between two people as well for some of y'all, okay? For some of you all, this could definitely be a fire sign, okay, and an air sign. For others of you, it could be a fire sign and an earth sign. But I definitely feel the energy of someone dropping the load. They're dropping away to this damn third party shit. I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna take a leap of faith. And in doing so, some of y'all is going back with an actually reconciling, possibly with a family situation, possibly with another Aries Leo Sagittarius. There will be a, a, a coming, I'm hearing coming home, okay? Someone wanting to come home and offer solid coins, Aries. Something solid, solid new beginnings, okay? Some of you all may be returning back to an old job. Clarify the Three of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Some of y'all could also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person may say you don't want to deal with your ass no more, Aries. I feel like there's still passion there, but there's also a lot of damn drama. Because someone lives in the world of illusions. And some of you all could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is confused about moving forward, which is going to make some of y'all move away and start something new elsewhere. I definitely feel a third party energy being dropped here. And some of you all, you have a new beginning coming that you don't see coming possibly with the tours. This person wants to offer you something solid. Yeah, it's past life for some of you all. This could also be someone from your past. But I'll ultimately see, okay, someone wanting to hold on to the connection areas because they see you getting ready to move away. They're like, no, I don't want my Aries to move away. And for some of you all, this is about moving moving forward from situations where motherfuckers want to leave you feeling as if you don't know what's going on. I don't know what, how you move it. I'm not going to wait on any fucking body. And for some of y'all, it's beneficial to wait on somebody. You know who you are. Discern a difference. But for some of you all, you have someone also wanting to hold on to you. They don't want you to move forward. And for some of y'all, it's a negative way of doing so. So watch what you're doing. Wrap it up. Strap it up if your ass ain't trying to have no babies. Okay? Y'all, this is what I have for you guys. I love Aries. I hope that this definitely helps you all. If you need a personal reading, that information, again, can be found in the description. Um, You guys, it's going to get really real with some personal readings. You know, y'all know it's always been uh, where, you know, I only make you wait 24 hours, 48 hours. I try to treat everybody how I want to be treated. I don't like to wait for shit. So, I, but it's been getting really real. We've been getting, I've been getting a bit jam-packed. And it's just a little old me over here doing these readings. So, um, you guys, when I post those specials, definitely be uh, checking out for, for the community tab because for the summer, I'm going to be posting a lot of specials because I am trying to um, begin to travel, you all, and come to where you are and host events and things of that nature. Um, so I thank everybody who has been donating lately. Our, our spirit been been putting it in y'all hearts. Aries, y'all been looking out for the kids. So thank you so much for all of the love. Thank you so much for all... Um, all of just the light that you all have been sharing and we've been able to share with each other, y'all. I really, really, really appreciate it because we've been getting our ass whooped. You're right. We've been getting our ass whooped. Okay. We we got our ass whooped a little bit, you know, but to see everybody actually getting up, getting up and actually standing in your truth, standing in your power, cutting motherfuckers at the door. This is some beautiful shit. For some of y'all, it sounded dysfunctional, but to know that there's light on the other side and to see that you are aware of that and we cutting the illusions and shit was beautiful for me. You guys, I will see you all for the month of July. Praying on y'all. We all let's let's collectively pray together. I'll be on time. Okay. But you all, I love you all. Much love. Much light. Many blessings. Namaste babies. See you guys later.